Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to upgrade to your RAM. Before I begin, I would like to actually show you some info about your RAM and what you need to know basics of the RAM. First, you just right click on your taskbar, just go to Task Manager. On the Performance tab here, you can see your memory. The memory is actually your RAM. So we can see that our uh, 8GB RAM is available here, means it comes with a laptop at, uh, with 8GB RAM. And we can see the speed here is the RAM speed, 3200 megahertz. So when you buy a, a new RAM, you want to follow the same speed. And the slots used is one out of two, means I have two slots uh, available in my laptop, which is uh, I'm able to upgrade it. And also the form factor is Sony IM, which is also a laptop RAM. So these are all the basics info that you need. As you can see, also we are in use about this uh, much of RAM and the available is this much of RAM. So what is this in explain is because you can see that our tabs here are open. So these tabs and apps that are open affects the memory here. As you can see, just opening Google Chrome, OBS Studio, and Task Manager Window Explorer, we are already at 52%. So the more tabs I open, as you can see, I've only opened two YouTube tabs. So if I played more and I open more YouTube tabs, it will definitely take more uh, RAM storage, okay? So you can see it keeps increasing over here. Just now it was 52, now it's 56. So if I were to open another editing software, like WG Resolve, it will actually keep increasing. See, now it's at 70, 76. So the bad thing when your RAM is uh, too, too high, uh, it will crash. So we don't want that to happen. We want to have enough memory. So 8 GB RAM, I would say it's very minimal and I will recommend you to upgrade your RAM to at least 16 GB. So you see, as you can see here, 78%, of course it's still workable, but we don't want it to exit uh, 100%, you know, by then uh, all our software will crash. So before we upgrade the RAM, we want to know the capacity of your laptop, or whether it's able to support that much of RAM, right? So how do we check? First of all, we can go to command prompt, just type CMD here, search, I will link this down below so that you guys can you know, check it yourself as well. So what does this do is search for the max capacity of the RAM. This is in kilobytes and also this is the a two slots RAM. That means I have two slots in my device. So you just copy this, okay, go to a Google search, just search uh, kilobytes to gigabytes. So and then it will show you that, oh, your laptop is capable of 33 gigabytes, which is also 32 gigabytes, okay? so. Now I know that my laptop is capable of 32 gigabytes, so I will be upgrading my RAM. But today I will be upgrading another 8 GB stick, which is in total will be a 16 GB RAM. So, so now that we know that our laptop is capable of upgrading its RAM, right now let's jump into the tutorial and I'll show you how to upgrade your RAM. So after the tutorial, I will be checking back here to see our RAM whether it's successful or not. So let's jump right in. Okay, so before we start. First and foremost is that we want to make sure that our laptop is turned off. Okay, then uh, just clip your laptop to the back. You will see there is eight screws here. So we uh, right now we need to uh, start removing the screws. So let's begin. So we have all uh, now done removing all the screws. So we need to start popping the back open from here, from the angle here. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Just take a card or something.
always start from the middle because I think um, it's a bit so that you don't you know break anything. Try to always start from the middle. Change item, I brought a guitar pick, you know, maybe it's easier. So once you open the cover, that's the hard part. So the rest is the, the easy part already. So you just take the ram. Just slot it in. So I thought I should show you a close up on how the RAM looks like after it installed. Um, also maybe I want to show you how to remove the RAM. So if you can see here this metal thing right, you can just actually just push to the side. If you push to the side, it will open. But you have to do it with two hands. So you push it at the same time then it will pop up like this so you can like remove the RAM. Okay, but um, after you slot it in, in this angle, okay, you just press it down. So if you see a RAM, there is actually a, a, a thing in the middle there. Just make sure you slot it in. Same goes to this one. Make sure you slot it in nicely. Then just push it in to this angle and then just press it up. There you go. So this is the same. Okay, it's already down. It's fixed in. Yeah, so let's go and check out whether we have successfully installed. So after we're done, we just uh, reassemble back everything.
そうダメだ Back after installing our RAM, and as you can see, I've successfully、uh, upgraded my RAM to 16 GB. As you can see here, it's already 16 GB, so uh, uh, that's, that's very good. So, when you have occupied two,、uh, two RAM slots, then、uh, it will be a dual channel mode. So, previously, it was a single channel only because I only occupied one RAM slot, so now I've、uh, used up the two RAM slots, so it's a dual channel. Also, just want to highlight again, so make sure you get the same speed of RAM, which is 3200 megahertz, you know, to get the best performance out of your laptop. Yeah, so that's it for today. If you guys like this video and it helps you, let me know in the comments down below. And、uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.